Ruth Harland from Cancer Care Manitoba. And I'm standing this close to her, even though I'm very afraid of her. Oh, okay, explain what sure. you found here. Sure, so what we're seeing here is a very consistent darkness across Dahlia's face. Um, the darker it is, the more unprotected UV exposure she's had. And as I was describing on air, the reason that this happens is this camera detects melanin clustering within three millimeters of your skin surface. So the more that you're outside, the more melanin you produce, and the darker and darker your picture becomes. Okay, can you once again tell us about the light and all of this darkness, please? Oh yeah, the, the nugget of gold. The nugget of gold. <laughs> so what I like that I'm seeing is that Dahlia's skin, um, her melanin distribution is very even. So for people like me, who you can see some of my freckles in person, um, we were born at high risk of skin cancer, so we were born with freckles, but we develop freckles as soon as our skin is exposed to the sun. That puts us at heightened risk of skin cancer. Dahlia doesn't have that freckling, doesn't have that clustering of melanin, which means that she's got a more uh, efficient melanin distribution, lower risk of skin cancer. I'd like to think that all I heard over here was her talking about that light of gold nugget in that whole conversation but I know that it's going to haunt me and it's going to uh, prompt me to wear more sunscreen more often, even in the winter. Sure, and also uh, covering up, taking shade, those things are also fantastic. Lots of people over a little bit, but they're great. It's easy for me to find shade. All I've got to do is step behind somebody who's like six feet tall. You're good. <laughs> awesome, thank you.